Okay, we've got ourselves second instalment of War Equalizer. Uh, and it looks like we're going to have Ronin versus Ronin. They have a Ronin, and we have our own Ronin. 47 times better. Okay, let's pick a target and get into it. Okay, here's the first lineup. Check those troops, looking good. Uh, just bring Willerton here, doesn't look like there's much, too much to worry about in terms of status effects, which is often the way with the equaliser anyway. So just a good healthy heal. That is not unwelcome. So I could cascade red into holy into red. Completely depletes my red straight off. I think I'd rather work towards getting that dragon bomb manufacturing six out of that. So let's take this one. Okay. Yeah, I mean let's have that. I think we grab that now to line up the other red. Ooh. Okay, we'll do it that way. <clears throat> Let me see that off now. special that is. I think probably not. I think we take that and then work on the right side. Okay. Just have to rebuild here. And does that. She mana shields her own um, status, well not a status effect, her own negative effect gets taken away. There we go. Finally. Okay, next team. So I've got Esme you can count the fiends of the tank here, but just generally good holy tile damage here as well. And bold tusk for a bit of extra healing. 
it's kind of a shame in some ways that he makes the buffs, but should be able to get the timing right with um, both Dispel and um, it's the buff blocking from El Nadaha that's a slight concern. My troops look correct. Let's do this. Team looks to be making a good start. Eey. The two colours I do not have, I have an abundance. I need ice pretty badly. Um, I think I'd much rather work on the right hand side. Blimey, a minion eater might have been a better choice as it turns out. Um, hmm. Yeah. Okay, he's going off. Keep plowing away over there. Unfortunately, the right side is pretty badly locked up now. We do have one red match under our belt, so I don't really want to muck up the only colour that I do have. So let's take that first. Okay. Hmm. Come on, Holy. Yes. Goodness me. It's all showing up in one turn. So we're going to have to take that heel. Uh, and we can pop purple and that will cascade into holy. Uh, we've got Nadaha going off a little bit two tiles into Zenobia, which could well be enough to set her off. Or I can just try for a more tightly confined move in the middle. No tiles into Zenobia, just one into each on the left. <sighs> Do you know what? I think that makes more sense. Oh, sorry about that. The uh, recording cut out at a pretty critical moment. That was really the. There's a bit I wanted to rewatch in that battle as well. As you can see, I lost it. Um, I ended up making that holy diamond by creating a holy dragon. If I just set it off, just popped it ordinarily, it wouldn't have popped the dark. Uh, and then I might not have got hit with quite so much stuff. D Divana went off as well. I lost mist. Um, and uh, yeah, had really low health. Did manage to get a heal off with, um, with Esme. And then she died on the next move after Zenobia hit the wings. Um, yeah, so I ended up basically with uh, with Bold Tusk, um, Norns, and uh, and Drake, trying to fight against four pretty much full health heroes there, and that's where it ended up. It really did come down to that that cascade, and not paying enough attention onto that I was going to do a dark set off the dark diamond as well with the with the way I played it. Okay, here is the clean team. So I 
I think we will do that. Assume about the fail on that one, but we are clean and tidy now. So that's it for the start of my war, and I'll be back in the in the last hour or two of the war to use my remaining flags. Okay, the equaliser war continues, and you can see there we are comfortably ahead, uh, and we have got this in the bag. So they have seven flags remaining, so it is mathematically impossible now for them to win. Um, so well done teammates, um, I've got three flags to use, it's the last three for our team. Um, so while I will be a bit underpowered against some of these good targets, um, might as well go for it. So here's a team with double dark, um, it's clearly very dangerous, but I do have plenty of holy power in this team at least. Uh, so I will need some tile kills here and then snipe out another target, maybe Drake, to expose the Dark Wing. Troops look good. Well, we've certainly got some holy. I like the dark into the green. It's going to set off an awful amount. So we can pop the green dragon to get a holy and then run another three directly into Panther. It really does look like a pretty good move. Is there something better is the question. Oh well, I'm not seeing it. Oh, shame about the extra cascade. So let's see, Drake's going off, so in that sense I'd rather play into the left side. Um, I'm going to do it this way. Oh, don't set the panther off again, that would have been fatal. Maybe that was a dumb idea. That was beautiful, Drake. Thank you. Close. Let's make sure of it. Uh, let's set her off on this turn, that's quite handy. Okay, so all that can get cleansed. Um, let's have this, goes that. Where's my next holy match at? 
Um, I don't really have a lot of moves. I think that whole left side is locked up. Let's go here. And again. Yeah, that was really asking for the big hit, wasn't it? Um, so let's have Alex, I think, and then we'll have Viv on the turn after. Again. Getting this holy match from anywhere. Um, at any rate, let's take both these heels, I think. Get rid of him. Okay, finally there. Okay, going up against their Ronan, um, who I jokingly at the start of the war said couldn't be as good as our 47 Ronan, but has in fact scored more points on offence than ours. So well done to Ronan, uh, and a tough defence here. Uh, bringing some minion making ability with Sylveria and Glenda, um, some minion eating ability with my costume Gormek. Um, yeah, and almost no buffs except for Glenda's special attack, which is important versus Diao Chan. Troops look good. Let's try it on. And by the time I get Glenda, um, I should hopefully then be able to use her to clear Diao Chan's minions anyway, so... Hmm... Well... Lots of moves, I like this. Now I prefer more of my colours, but this is pretty... a pretty handy mix, really. So I could do the ice into the green. Then I can take another green and a third green to get me Silveria. Uh, or I can do the green dragon. Do that horizontal green to the middle there. Bring some blues closer together. Oh, I'm really not sure how to proceed. Let's try this. We might actually even possibly get a kill here on Diao Chan. If we can snipe her and then put two ice tiles into her. It's definitely worth a try. Yeah, let's give it a go. 
and it is not enough. But we do have the ice matches, so let's not get cute with this. Um, okay, well it would have been nice to wait a turn, but we can have a kill here. What's our next move? I really don't need to use Kirill at this moment, I mean, unless he gets sniped to death. Hmm. Yeah, so I think we'll use... Oh, it'd be really handy to not... <coughs> not set Pengi off this turn, but I really want to take some reds. Um... Okay, so I think I know what I want to do then. I want to hit down the middle. Then I want to go after Pengi. And take those reds. Oh wow, that did more damage than I thought it would. Very welcome. Okay, so let's have defense down over there. Um, let's save Gormak to eat some minions. Hmm. this way to keep the ice tiles close. If we take that green diamond. Oh, making that blue cascades into holy which cascades into four darks. It's really no fun. Hmm. Oh well, I think it's going to have to be that though. Oh, look at that ice match. Beautiful, okay, so we can throw everything in here, can't we? Uh, let's have Glenda first, given we've all got attack down. Wonderful. Okay, tough team. Happy to get a win on that one. Okay, uh, well this team is way too dependent on status effects and buffs for my liking an equaliser, but it's what I've got left. Um, this is the best matchup I think I have. Okay, hard to get those troops wrong with a rainbow team. I was thinking to myself, you know, a massive cascade in the middle would be actually not that bad, but we have not got that. Um, 
We have ourselves an almost holy diamond, but it's not going to work. Hmm. Not really seeing any blue dragons or green dragons that would be helpful for getting cattle on or a lassie fired off or six for gravy. I think we'll go about it this way because of the chance of bringing in a holy in between there. Well, let's go there. Pretty sure I want the dark diamond. Even cascades into an ice. Does hurt. Hmm. Well, I think this is the way to go. Keep the board moving. Okay, well, didn't die at least. It's the best that can be said for that. I suppose we probably want the cat to go off this turn. Do I run the holy? Probably actually take the blue diamond because it's going to cascade into a holy match. Yeah. Give us some combo potential here. Right, so now we just need to stall. Let's have Gravemaker ready. After the equaliser, so let's focus on the middle three, I think. Do need some kills before what's his face in the corner goes off, so. I think we want to take her out. I have this green. Zabby's Cascade option here. It's this way, isn't it? I suppose I should probably snipe now in case I do get hit. Can load up Gravemaker as well. But if I snipe her, then and Gravemaker's ready, we can. Yeah, let's burn her on the next turn. So let's go this way round. Let's get that heal. No, slow down. C. 
so no mana one more turn of burn if I make the four that'll be worth six still not enough to get Catalan going though so maybe I'll just try for a bigger cascade into and Pengi it's my best chance of getting specials going, that's the key isn't it? I'm going to take this one ok, not quite what I was expecting Hmm, so... Oh, it's looking better to get a lassie now, isn't it? So I take the three along the bottom, it gets me five. Dragon gets me seven. What's his name? has probably gone off by then, though. That's still the killing play at least. Yeah, I think that was right. Oh nice. Phew, okay. Okay, well that was uh, three one-shots. I'm surprised at that finish, given the quality of the teams I was taking on there, so some good fortune in those hits. Uh, so that is it for the war. Um, I might just pause the recording and come back to see what the loot is. I think we might have a war chest to open even. Uh, this was the defense I ran uh, for this war, so they killed me four times. And I got two stops out of that, so that's just kind of a solid result for me. Um, I don't like using an Ari, and um, well, she doesn't actually make my defense teams very often at all, actually, and especially not an equalizer. But I thought it was worth a try. So, a rare Titan earlier today dropped this legendary Tome of Golden Emblems, which I've not come across before. I've not had Golden Emblems before. So I'm going to probably have to do a little bit of reading about that, but it seems pretty good, like you can probably um, do half of a talent tree, so presumably it's best to pay for the first 10 and then use this on the expensive 10 nodes 11 to 20. So that's pretty good. And yes, there will be a war chest in just a second. Okay, so here's the regular war loot from the win. 100,000 ham is always welcome. Well done, mage, there. And time for some war chest. Come on, epic hero tokens is what I want. No. Okay. I have seen worse loot. 100 emblems is the best you can get, though. So that's pretty average there. And uh, I've got so many darts. It doesn't really matter terribly much on the four star mats for me. I recently skipped the um, Shiloh Desert, I think it happened during Atlantis, just to use the uh, the world energy in Atlantis instead. Okay, so that is my war. Thanks very much uh, to our opponents for the war. Congratulations, teammates, for the win. Uh, if you've enjoyed this, you've watched this, uh, that's great. I hope your wars have gone well. For me, that will do it.